warm welcome to the prize giving of the first capital SSC Open 2022. Over the years, this tournament has established itself as one of the tournaments that has played host to the talent of some of the best players in the country, and this year was no exception. I think it's safe to say that over the course of this tournament, the players put on a fantastic display of tennis that was a treat to watch as far as tennis fans in the island are concerned. So please join me in giving a large round of applause to this fantastic group of sportsmen and sportswomen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome an extremely distinguished group of individuals who are here with us today. Firstly, Mrs. Sriya Munasinghe, former national singles and doubles champion and our chief guest for the evening. Mr. Arjun Fernando, guest of honor, again a multiple national singles and doubles champion, former Davis Cup player, and to date Sri Lanka's highest ranked professional tennis player. Representing our title sponsors, Mr. Dilshan Virasekara, CEO of First Capital Holdings PLC. Head of Marketing, First Capital Holdings, Mrs. Nisan Salah Munasinghe. Mr. Dimanta Matthew, Head of Research, First Capital Holdings. Representing our co-sponsors, Mr. Ranjit Panditge, Chairman Demo. Mr. Surya Bibile, Director 3G Sports, I think a few of them are still coming in. Uh, Managing Director, PNS Gihan Pereira and Sam Pereira, lovely to have you here. Uh, Mr. Renuk Vijayman, also I think on the way, the Director of Synergy Tennis. Mr. Vasanta Vijay Sekara, Honorable Secretary of the SSC. Mr. Nilan Kapiris, Honorable Treasurer of the SSC. Mr. Neshan Gunasekara, Chairperson, SSC Tennis House Committee. Mr. Jayant Kelegama, Secretary of the SSC Tennis House Committee. And Mr. Aruna Senaviratna, Tournament Director of the SSC Tennis House Committee. I would now like to invite Mr. Neshan Gunasekara to welcome the gathering. Mrs. Sriya Munasinghe, our Chief Guest uh, this evening. Welcome, Madam. Great honor to have you. Mr. Arjun Fernando, our Guest of Honor. Again, sir, welcome. Uh, privilege to have both of you uh, grace this very special evening. Dilshan Nisansala and uh, Dimanta, now part of our partnership team uh, with First Capital, coming as title sponsor. Welcome again, Mr. Vasantavije Sekara, representing the Exco and Nilanka. Thank you again for your support. Ladies and gentlemen, multiple national champions in the audience. Champions from every age group, not only at the SSC, but in multiple national events in the country, parents, coaches, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great privilege as the chairperson of the SSC Tennis House community to warmly welcome you this evening. And as uh, Shehan started us off, off, it's about a celebration of tennis and a celebration of champions. I would only like to speak very briefly. We have a long uh, evening ahead of us uh, to celebrate champions. But I would like to leave two messages with you. I think why we are gathered here today, I keep asking my question each year for the last 20 years that I've been part of the SSC Tennis House Committee. I think it's believe, believing in dreams. I believe all those young people who are here today I know you may have won the girls under 12, or you may have won the under 16 boys doubles, but remember that you represent over 840 participants this year. Now, is that just a number? It's a pretty big number to have 840. But what I wanted to say that is 840, not individuals, but families. With coaches, the players, the dedication supported by loving fathers and mothers to see their children reach their fullest potential on here, a chosen or selected sport, the sport of tennis. All that 800 who are here playing on the SEC tennis courts are not present today. We would love to have them here, probably not on uh, this venue, probably on the grounds, because I don't think we can host 800 in here. Maximum, we were told, was 100 plus. But what I wanted to stress was that this is a sharing of 840 plus dreams. And all of you represent the dreams that we have shared with all of them. And this is what the SSC Tennis House Committee is all about. How do we share the dream? And to take this dream that your loving parents, your coaches, and all those supporters that drill into you. It's not about just walking on court and winning a tennis match. It's much more than that. 
And this evening, you will hear from some wonderfully inspirational role, model, role models, including the chief guest and the guest of honor, about what these dreams mean. And that brings me to the second point, is about values. The SSE Tennis House Committee is also about values. The SSE Tennis Championships is also about values. And you will have some inspirational former national and international players talk to you about what it means to be a champion and what are the values that buttress being a champion. But one of the values that I would like to uh, take up and conclude my remarks uh, and welcoming all of you is the value of appreciation. So whilst we as players or administrators uh, have many to uh, appreciate for their efforts, the time, as we call it, blood and sweat and the finances that go into it. So I would like to begin by thanking our title sponsors, First Capital, for having faith in us, coming together after what probably called an uh, initial pilot phase last year for signing with us for three years. So thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for First Capital. A moment ago, we had a signing ceremony, uh, sorry, a uh, handing over ceremony with First Capital. And what we were stressing was the sponsors that you see before you uh, on the, uh, uh, on the uh, backdrop are sponsors who have not just come last year or the year before. They've been with us, in some cases, Pereira and Sons for generations. So it's about relationship building. It's about building a family and a tennis fraternity that can dream big and dream together. And we begin by appreciation. So thank you very much, Gihan Sam, uh, and in the absence of Mr. Panditage and the others, uh, Surya Bibile, Renuk, uh, People's Bank, uh, Yeti, who have come forward for the last four or five years as well. Thank you very much. I will also, of course, fail in my duty if I don't mention a key group of individuals who are part of this beautiful tennis family. Our tournament director, Mr. Aruna Senivaratna. Thank you very much, Aruna, for being with us throughout this period. <laughs> Mr. Chamika Disivla, I'm not entirely sure what we will do without your energy and commitment. I think. <laughs> Mr. Malin the Senivaratna, our finance guru, where is he? I can't see him. Thanks. And those who have joined us this year doing a fantastic job, Dr. Kemali Herat. <laughs> Mr. Archana Lokuge. And uh, I believe in their absence, uh, Ms. Janali Manamperi and Samini Jayasuri, who are the current women's national doubles champions, who are not here but was part of the team running events for the last few years. We are also blessed to have the support of Mrs. Nil Niluka Akmimana from the SSE office, head of office, who's been here over the almost 10 years supporting SSE tennis. Thank you, Niluka, for your commitment and joining us. And we also have uh, Chari, the general manager, Trevor Martin, uh, head of operations, who's obviously part and parcel of this uh, setup. We acknowledge uh, that it is tough sometimes to manage 842 kids coming at a time uh, that uh, we are all facing a pandemic. But I believe the SSC Tennis House Committee conducted one of the best tournaments once again. So this would not have happened if not really uh, for these three gentlemen that I would like to specially mention. Our head of ground staff, Mr. T. Raj Kumar, Mr. Jena, and Indika. Thank you very much. I've seen them on court 19, 20 hours on certain days when the matches are over at 9, 30, 10 p.m. They would still water the court till 1, 30, 2 p.m. Uh, sorry, 2 a.m. and then return back to work at 5.30 a.m. and that would run for six weeks. Never seen, seldom, we call them our silent heroes. Finally, as Shehan started, our loving players, you are the assets today and for the generations to come. We believe in intergenerational 
what we call intergenerational solidarity that connects one generation set of values to the next generation of set of values. Your loving parents, coaches, who have dedicated so much of their time, energy, finances uh, to bring you to this level. Don't stop at SSC under 12 or under 18 and men's. Hopefully you'll hear from a lady sitting in front that it's quite possible to go to Wimbledon and play qualifying rounds and maybe qualify. Yes, there's a lady, Sriya Munasingh, who sits in front, who's been to the Wimbledon and played the qualifying rounds. That should be the dream, and that's the dream that we share here. And with those words, I welcome you warmly again and wish you a lovely and a wonderful evening ahead of a champion's evening. Thank you. Uh, good evening, uh, Chief Kestria, guest of honor Arjun, members of the Tennis House Committee, uh, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, and players. Um, it's uh, a very proud moment for us as well, as First Capital, to partner with SSC um, and be invited for this prize-giving ceremony. Uh, I've been asked to say a few words and sort of motivate, I think, the youngsters here, uh, maybe, um, which is a very hard thing to do in this day and age. I know we all, as Sri Lankans, um, have a lot of, lot of challenges ahead of us. Um, and, and things look pretty bleak. I know, you know, we are talking of default. Um, we are talking of, you know, a lot of issues in the economy. Um, we can't get our basic needs, fuel, electricity. Um, inflation has skyrocketed to um, rates unprecedented before. And it's probably going to get a little bit worse before it starts getting better. Um, but I think a key attribute of uh, the Sri Lankan people, you know, something that we've done time and time over again, is that we've always been quite resilient to these challenges. We've overcome possibly everything that has been thrown to us. As a nation, we've gone through a 30-year-old war. We've dealt with tsunamis, droughts, um, you know, bombings, terrorism. You name it, we've seen it. So I think, you know, economic challenge is also something that we as a nation um, can get over. And I have no doubt that we will overcome this challenge. And I think a key attribute to it is all of us having a, having a positive attitude and seeing what part can we play um, in doing it. You know, we as Sri Lankans love to blame others, you know, say it's the government, politicians, whatever. But what are we each doing about it. I think that's the question that you need to ask yourself, look into, and what am I doing to help overcome this challenge? And I think you know, that's the spirit that we as a company, um, that's what embodies our brand promise of performance. First, we always look at what, how can we change things? How can we do something more? And I think even <coughs> the youngsters here, um, while tennis is only a sport, I think it, it teaches you also a lot in terms of discipline. And um, I think, you know, with all the winners here and all the players who participated even, I think in these little things, you'll, you'll find ways and means um, of contributing um, in some form um, to the country, to the nation, uh, to its people. Um, so I think having a positive attitude and a mindset is the first key thing uh, to overcome any challenge. And I think um, uh, it's, it's difficult when you have such an overhang, um, like we do today in Sri Lanka, uh, but it's important to, uh, important to believe um, that it'll be over. It'll be over. And I think all the youngsters here, the only message that I have to give you is have that positive, positive attitude. Um, keep going forward. Don't look back. And things will get better. So with that, I will end and wishing all the winners as well as all the players who took part, um, many con congratulations on, on, a, on, on your um, uh, titles and taking part. And once again, we are very, very happy um, to partner with SSC in this, um, in this uh, uh, tournament now. I think we've signed for three years, but I'm sure that's not the end of this partnership. So um, congratulations again and all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And thank you for those wonderful words and shedding some important light on the concept of positive thinking. 
Uh, if you could please give us a couple of minutes, we're gonna do a quick makeover on this backdrop here as we line up and get ready for the award distribution. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank uh, Nishan for inviting me and 
SSC Clubhouse Committee for giving me speak a few words about a few qualities. So I am speaking mostly about courage. So courage is something like which cannot be taught. I mean, it's, it won't be taught uh, like by your coach or by anyone. They can support you, but courage is something which you have to find within yourself. And I'm pretty sure like so many players have experienced like on a practice court, you play, play with <coughs> such a free go and you might beat so many players, but when you go to a match, you are so tense. I mean, uh, you are really tense and you expect some matches which you should win and uh, you cannot pull it through. Well, one thing is being nervous is good, because being nervous means you really care about what you are doing and you really want to achieve something big. But being courageous is something where you have to take one step over being more than nervous. Because once you are courageous, things go in a very free flow. Because the perfect example I would say is like Djokovic, uh, where you see multiple matches, his match points down, but he still finds the courage and the freedom where he can you know, really go for his shots, like thinking like, okay, it's okay if I miss, but you know, at least I want to try my best and give it all out. So, courage is really, really important when you go into matches, mostly because courage might be the only thing which is going to make, give you that extra one or two percent which is going to push you to the match to get that W. And then the next discipline I uh, want to talk about is, uh, can I see the next <laughs> Of perseverance. So, yeah, it's also a thing like you got to, like you have courage. It's like in tennis to win a tournament, you need to win five matches minimum. Or some, you know, you go to the international, it's seven, eight. And you, when you take Davis Cup, you got to win three matches. So, it's like you win one match, you're not done. You should have the ability to keep on pushing yourself for higher goals and not giving up because. It's, it's a, uh, tennis is a really tough mental game, as it's physically, it's really tough mentally because once you're off, like, of a three set match, you know, three hours on the court, you really feel like, you know, you want to doze off and, you know, take it off, but, you know, less than 24 hours you're on the court again for your next match. So you should have that continuity always and, and that is something which tennis really builds up and which has really built up to me. Because sometimes I have the worst of defeats, but you know I have to get over it, and the next day I have to play my next match. So even there is so many matches which I was like down and out, and maybe like two sets to up down or so, but you still have to find the courage and perseverance to pull the match through and stay with your opponent. We got to keep on continuing, keep on pushing ourselves, and. This courage and perseverance is something we need from every individual also right now in our country. <laughs> we, need, we are facing a lot of tough situations. So a lot of courage is needed and the younger generation, like they say, tough times create really tough humans. So hope for the best for all the tennis players and hope for the best for our country as well. SSC Tennis Chairman Mr. Neshan Gunasekar, tournament referees, sponsors, support staff at SSC and they were hard working Raja and his team. Thank you for all the support. The tournament was well organized. Matters scheduled in a way we could train for the World Junior pre-qualifying event. A big thank you from the under 14 team. I would look forward to coming back and playing the ITS in July. A big thank you to my parents, extended family and to everyone at home. Thank you for all the sacrifices made for me. A big thank you to the sir and all the coaches at DTS for all the hard work and for being there and for me at all times. Friends and parents at DTS, thank you for making training enjoyable and for all the guidance, encouragement and motivation given to me. It wouldn't have been possible without all of you. A big thank you to all the aunties, uncles involved in tennis and my dear friends 
all coaches and officials who have guided me through, motivated me and helped me along the way. Thank you very much. I look forward to your continued guidance and encouragement in this long journey ahead. Two years back, I played my first Tehran Fair final here. I won a hard fought first set 6 4. As my thoughts were on celebration, I lost the next two sets and the match 6 love, 6 love. The girl I played that day is an amazing tennis player with a lot of skills and was multi talented. With COVID-19, we had had less success getting her back on court, and she had not played the last two SSC tournaments. There are many kids out there who do not have access to facilities and equipment and coaching. Most of us have it. To those in this situation, I hope we can get together and lend a helping hand so that the two talents may shine and they could work together to improve the standard of play and the passion for the sport in Shita, so that we might see more champions in the future. Thank you. Certainly a good start. I noticed there were more than 400 entries, if I'm correct. 800, double. Double, okay, 800. And it is no small feat to stage such a tournament. I see so many young faces here, and it speaks well for the future of tennis in Sri Lanka. One must remember Tennis is not an easy game to learn. <clears throat> you need patience, commitment, as Amrita told you before. She has enumerated all the qualities that you need to become a champion. Thank you. When I started, and six decades later, I'm still playing with the same passion and enthusiasm. But I wish I could be a little faster on the court now. First of all, love for the game. <clears throat> Have the desire to play well. Play with your friends and enjoy the game. When you decide that tennis is the sport for, of your choice, then have a game plan with your coach and mentors. <clears throat> Tennis has opened many doors for me. I have made lasting friendships here and abroad, traveled, played competitive tennis, earned international and national rankings, <clears throat> and enjoyed the journey. Tennis also has its high points as well as its lows and it teaches one to accept both and come out of it stronger. <clears throat> the best memory I have was being the youngest member of the team uh, <clears throat> selected for the Asian Games in 1966, where we won a bronze medal. <clears throat> The often tennis is an individualistic game. This experience taught me that being a team player gives a lot more satisfaction, especially when the team wins. Many of you must have felt this playing in the Davis Cup and Fed Cup. That's all I can say and I wish all the young people the very best. Keep playing, be committed, and enjoy the game. Thank you. To 
the sponsors. I'm not going to mention you individually, but I know I see Gihan, First Capital, uh, Surya, and everybody. Thank you very much. I know how difficult it is uh, today to find sponsors. But I think what uh, this SSC has shown is you, if you have a credible proposition, you can find sponsors. It was so professionally presented, got first capital for three years. So Nishan and you too, and I think Disho is not here, should be given a lot of credit for bringing in sponsors. Well done. <laughs> I'd like to just speak a few words about the chief guest, Sriya Munasinghe. As you know, not only was she a great champion, I had the privilege of working with her as a selector you know, for three years and in the selection committee. Her commitment and passion to help sport was you know, enormous. Not only that, she's also with her husband, the renowned Professor uh, Mohan Munasinghe, help a lot of juniors in, and are very benevolent. So thank you, Sriya, and, and for all your support for Tennessee. <laughs> i just like to again thank Nishan for starting the leadership with this inspiring value system. And it was a great initiative. So I'm going to just take one value and I'm going to ask all the players to stand. The value I'm talking about is respect. Can I ask all the players who took part, junior especially, to stand and applaud your parents and the coaches for their support for you. Can I get all the players to stand? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, to the players, uh, you had three great champions giving you a lot of advice, not only on the values, you know, in terms of what, you know, you need to look out for in tennis. The only thing I would just add is uh, on the tactical pillar of tennis. I've watched a lot of matches, and if there was one thing I can uh, advise you is learn to play to the score. Uh, I noticed a lot of players just continue the same type of game irrespective of what the score is. There are two things I learned which I think has helped me. The first two points in the game is a giveaway. You know, people only start playing when it's love 30. So if you can really concentrate and try to win the first two points, I believe you are at an advantage. The second point on the tactical pillar I'd like to mention is the at 40-30, now that's, when you're up 40-30, arm of the view, the, if you're serving, you get your first serve. But I know the adrenaline is flowing and therefore, you know, you try to go for a big serve. But my advice would be, if you're up 40-30, the pressure is on the uh, opponent or the receiver. So therefore, try and get the first serve. Because no sooner you lose that first serve, I think the receiver feels, I'm in this point. So, if I had to give two pieces of advice, first two points, try and win, and then at 40-30, try and get your first serve. Okay, now I'd just like to <coughs> say a few th uh, words to the uh, parents. I'm glad to see over the last couple of years especially, the parents are more united. This game is not an individual sport. It may be, but your children are going to benefit if we all do well. So uh, I know in the past uh, players have been taken away from coaches because one of the competitors was in the coaching program. I think that was a foolish move. But what we are trying to say today is let's get together. I think Dinara rightfully mentioned, you know, how we should all get together and think of other players. Because if everybody does well, your kids are going to do well. So my advice again to parents, let's rally around and look at tennis and your kids will benefit. Uh, before I end, I'd just like to say a big thank you to uh, Nishan and SSC for giving me the honor to donate a trophy for the men's singles winner. Uh, it is indeed a privilege to be associated, associated with SSC and to have my name next to it. And also, I'm really happy to be giving this uh, or the winner of this trophy, Tehan Vijay Mana, 
uh, because Tehan's father and I have played a lot of tennis, Davis Cup, you know, and also Tehan's mother, sister, uh, Saranga Sangakkara, and I won a mixed double. So it's right, very fitting that the first recipient of this award will be uh, Tehan. So let me again thank the SSC and uh, uh, Nishan for inviting me and wish you all a good evening. Thank you.